is happening when we come to God. Ben, thank you very much for being here today. We just had a very interesting conversation with our retreat members from different parts of Europe that were very keen to understand what's going on when it comes to real estate and artificial intelligence. You lead the real estate uh, practice for, for McKinsey all over Europe. Why so much attention is being paid to artificial intelligence? I think that you've got a sector in real estate that's been quite slow historically to adapt to technology. And the combination of the pressures the sector's been under with huge advances, particularly in Gen AI, have just created a moment in time where there's massive opportunity for companies to get ahead by harnessing technology, but also risks of being left behind as well. Fantastic. And what are the key opportunities that you see for a real estate property company or a developer or an investor or a sovereign wealth fund that's watching us now? Where do you think they can see uh, real results? Because there are a lot of buzz, a lot of talks about real, uh, real estate and artificial intelligence, but what in concrete they could expect from embracing more artificial intelligence? Well, the first thing I'd say is never start with trying to embrace the technology. Start with what is your core business? How do you make money? What are you trying to get ahead of the competition on? And then work out the ways that you can use your people, process and technology to do that really effectively. And we're working globally with people right across the value chain. So there are use cases here in everything from how you invest, how you develop, managing assets, leasing, the kind of middle and back office operations, property management, facility management. We're actively working right across all of those. And we're working across the different drivers of creating new income streams to improving the capital values, the growth opportunities, the investor messaging, the internal operations of the business. So it's very broad, but I'd never suggest starting with the business. I would start with what are you trying to accomplish? Don't start with the tech, start with a commercial opportunity. Makes sense. Some people say, you know, in three months, many things will be different. Other people said in the discussion, I believe that's going to be two years until we see something really real happening when it comes to artificial intelligence in real estate. What would you say? Uh, how is the future look, you know, looking like in 12 months? Do you think we're going to see major uh, shifts happening in the industry? I think what we've gone from is questions around what technology matters to a broad acceptance across industries that this is a fundamental change that is now happening through AI and Gen AI. And it is different to other things in the past like blockchain, 3D printing, all of those things. Okay. And when we look, there's two things I'd observe. One is different companies are at very different stages of adoption. Mm -hmm. Some are doing nothing, some are experimenting, some are properly rooting this into their business. Secondly, when we look at as these technologies change, things like what was possible in GPT-3 versus 4, in small increments of time, three, six months, there are leaps forward in these technologies. And the great thing is the real estate sector doesn't need to pay for this just for the real estate sector. It's piggybacking on mm -hmm. billions, if not trillions, going into this sector and being able to apply it to their own unique context. Perfect. A final question. Right now, there's someone watching us in Belgium, in in Paris, in Italy, in London, anywhere. And he's a CEO of a property company or a developer. And he thinks, okay, this is serious. I need to really do something about it. More than just using chat GPT to, to answer an email. You know, probably there's a serious game here. And he's probably asking, where do I start from? Yeah. You know, what's the beginning here? Okay. So firstly, don't seek perfection. Be pragmatic. Find something valuable that you can do that's achievable. Typically, we talk about a two plus two opportunity, two mm -hmm. quite quick wins. So you prove the technology, people see a benefit, two more fundamental things that are gonna transform your business. Um, and that's a very good approach. You can then deliver something fast to people three to six months later, that's really gonna make a difference. In doing so, you'll probably start cleaning up bits of your data in your systems, but don't start this with some massive data project. Start it with a commercial benefit a problem, an opportunity in your business, and use technology to solve that thing and to prove it out, to get buy-in from senior people, get people excited, and start getting that advantage and payback fast. 
Ben, thank you very much. Very useful. Thank you. Thank you. Good.